through the whole process of, of shipping, packing and shipping. What's up? What's up? Let's see a grand total of four, five eBay orders, two Poshmark and a coffee order from Chris And as always, you can get yourself some delicious fair trade organic coffee. If you go to the link down below or up above, you'll find the link. It's Chris and you can get yourself some delicious coffee. If you order during the live, I'll ship it out during the live with a big dose of gratitude. We got an order today going out for Gregory. He's got a dark roast. Been looking everywhere for you. I'm in the same place. I'm in the same place. I've been. What's up, Kit Kat? How are you, Dana? Welcome in. Welcome in. Good to have you. Let's go ahead. Uh, let me know. What am I shipping first? Am I shipping eBay, Poshmark, or coffee first? We'll ship everything out, and I'll walk you through the process, talk you through the dollars and cents of it all, and I'll show you what's sold. What are we doing? eBay, Poshmark, or coffee? You let me know down below in the chat. First person to say one of those. <laughs> what's up, Leslie? How are you? Welcome, welcome. Don't everybody say stuff all at once. Hope you're well, Leslie. What's new up there? Share something new and exciting. eBay, posh. eBay. Okay, you win, Leslie. eBay it is. All right, we got five eBay orders. Let's kick things off first. This is actually going to a military base. We got a pair of 512 Levi's going out the door. These are going to Michael. Nothing fancy here. Levi's, not even like a big size, 32 by 32. This model 512 is actually not one that I come across. It's like a slim fit model. Um, modern pair of Levi's. What's up, Pamela? How are you? We got you going on eBay first. Uh, these are going out priority. It was actually cheaper to ship these jeans priority than it was ground advantage. I think that has something to do with the whole, the whole military base thing. So thank you, Michael. These are going in a uh, tie back envelope. And of course, we don't trust government adhesive. Thanks, Kit Kat. We are doing well. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, nothing really new here. The day job is still kicking my booty. Are we talking like 40 plus, 40 plus plus? Has that left you any time to do some reselling too? Keeping the hustle alive? What's up, Tina? How are you? My friend from Canada, Tina. I have to tape this label on. You know when you do those Air Force base labels on eBay, it's like they want you to, you got to do the uh, customs declaration form and yeah, it's just weird to print it out on the 4x6. It just doesn't work. I've got it to work before. I just didn't feel like fiddling with it. What's up? Meg, how are you? Meg Lectic is in the house. Did I see that you made a second account? Eglectic was is that true or is that just like a copycat account it looked like it was you on another account with a different name living the dream all good here nice is it springing up there in canada or is it still like the middle of winter in canada kim does like a good job yeah thank you for asking she's uh she's in, she's six weeks into it you know work at working from home um it's a really similar job to what she used to do um so it was easy to get her up to speed she works with good people her boss seems pretty chill and uh, she's works at she works on uh, West Coast hours. So that was the thing she was nervous about was working. Her schedule is eleven Eastern time to seven p.m. Uh, Eastern time. So she's working basically like an eight to five day, or I guess a nine to five day. Yeah, no, eight to four, whatever. She's she's starting at like eight o'clock uh, West Coast time. So she was a little worried about that, but it's actually worked out pretty nice. She just starts her day, like chills out her, with her day for a couple hours before she goes to work. She'll even run errands and stuff like that before work instead of after. Uh, Agnes has her own account. Gotcha. Okay, cool. I thought I thought I saw that. I was like, I'm going to follow it, but I'm like, I don't know if this is real or not. It could have been a scammer. Jeans are out the door. We just got an offer accepted, by the way. That's why I'm staring at my phone on Poshmark. What happened here? Sold a bundle, uh, two polo shirts sold in a bundle to the same buyer. So we'll go out to the garage and, and get more stuff to ship out. Let's go. 50 plus, I am still selling, but haven't listed in a while. Hope to this weekend. Yeah, that's a lot of hours. It's tough. I hope you give yourself, uh, you probably are, give yourself a little bit of a break because you're uh, you're working hard at the day job. That's a lot to balance both. 
I can remember when I had the full-time day job and I just had some weeks that were, were kicking my butt. I just had to give myself a break and just be like, hey, the reselling is just going to have to be on the back burner. Uh, it is spring, but cool day today. Cherry blossoms and magnolias are budding. Nice, nice, nice. We're a few weeks ahead of you on that kind of stuff here, here in Asheville. Uh, this last week, we just like exploded with uh, green. So yeah, it's not full leaves right now, but it's it's getting, well, I'd, I'd say we got another probably week until it's full leaves. But yeah, it just exploded this past week. But we're past like the, all the flowering and stuff. Well, some of the trees have flowers, but you get the idea. Depends on the trees. Different. Some are flowered, some are past flowering. You get the idea. It depends on how much of a rush these trees are and you're getting going. Some are different than others. All right, we got a RLX going out the door. Brand new with tags. This is going to Samuel. I bought a whole bunch of these. Some of them I spent $24 for. Some of them I spent like $15 for. So my average buy cost is about 20 bucks on these. This one sold for full asking price, $40 plus shipping. I love listings like these because this was like 15 of them. Uh, all the same size. So just like one round of photos, one round of measurements, one listing, quantity 15, and just sell them off. So even though the margin isn't huge on some of these, particularly the ones that I spent $24 on, it's easy. And the reason I bought the $24 ones is like I already have a bunch of these that I had already listed them on the $15 purchases. So I'm like, yeah, I'll buy some at 24. It's no extra work. I just got to change the quantity, throw them in bags. And then when they ship, they ship. So <clears throat> I love stuff like this. I would, I'd like to build a whole store just off of like multi-quantity retail arbitrage, even if it's with slimmer margins. Today's housework day, just above freezing outside. She whiz. I think we're past all that kind of weather here. What's up, Trisha? Hello and good morning. What's up, Trisha? You asked and you received. Thank you, Samuel. Nice RLX golf polo there going out the door. Next, this sold in three hours. I listed, I picked this up Thursday. I listed it Friday and it sold in three hours. A cool shirt sold for $25 on a best offer plus shipping. So the buyer's all in for $31. Cool men's size large. I was tempted to keep this shirt. It's actually my size, but you got to make money, y'all. We're gonna make money. Welcome in, welcome in. If you're joining for the first time, this is what I do. So I buy stuff at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, retail stores and their clearance sections, and I flip it online on eBay and Poshmark. Thank you, Mark. Including this cool shirt. I paid five dollars for this cool shirt and sold in three hours, sold for twenty-five dollars plus shipping. Nice little quick profit right there. I love it. We're working on eBay orders. We got Poshmark orders today. We got a coffee order today too. Get your coffee orders in now. If you get them in while we're live, I'll ship them out to you right here on the live with a big dose of gratitude. The coffee's fair trade is organic. It's delicious. It's roasted fresh every Thursday right here in Black Mountain, North Carolina. A little taste of the mountains for you. A light roast, a dark roast, and a medium roast. And where did I put that? Shipping label. That's strange. Samuel. Oh, I already shipped Samuel. The cool is going to Mark. Thank you, Mark. What's up, Brian? How are you? Thanks for popping in. Nice. Just sold my first cool shirt. Nice. You would think I would find a lot more cool here in uh, in Asheville because it's definitely like a mountain outdoorsy type of brand. And that's the type of attire that's really popular here. But when those things hit thrift stores, people just scoff them up. And I'm not even talking about resellers, just uh, just regular folk buying it for themselves. When they see cool at the thrift store around here, they snatch it up real quick. Same with like Patagonia, North Face, anything like that. Uh, so true. Anything to make our lives easier. There you go. I'm sipping a little medium roast. Uh, it's iced with a little bit of oat milk, in case you were wondering. I know you were. Somebody was. All right, we got an Orvis going out the door for Connie. Paid $5 for this Orvis sweater. It's a cashmere blend, cotton and cashmere. It was like mostly cotton, like 5% cashmere. Sold for 23 bucks. Sorry, 85% cotton, 15 cashmere, a little V-neck Orvis sweater piece right here. 
that sold $23 plus shipping. I paid $5 for it at a thrift store. This one took a little while to sell, but it can't all be fast. It's going to a 9 by 12 poly mailer. You know the drill. Everyone gets a thank you card because they help pay the rent. They deserve it. Thanks, Connie. Drinking water, I, I do care. What's up, Nick Smith? How are you, buddy? Uh, morning from the warm and sunny desert. Already getting that 90 degree weather. Um, are you gonna break? Have you? I'm sure you haven't broke 100 yet. But when would you? When would you guess is gonna be the first time you break 100 out there? That's already really warm. We had a 80. I think it was like 86 two days ago. Was that yesterday? No, two days ago. We went up to um, see the Asheville Tourists, which is our single A local baseball team. And as we we're driving up there, it was 86 degrees, which I think is uh, for sure the warmest temperature that we've had so far this year. All right, is that all the eBay? I think eBay is done. We'll move on to Poshmark. Yeah, let's move on to Poshmark. So we got a bundle deal going out to Eric. Eric got this Billy Reed shirt right here. You know, this brand, I'm selective about this brand. This probably wasn't a good buy. This one's cotton in a size medium and nothing really fancy. Um, I would I'm really kind of more picking up like if it's a linen blend or a really nice pattern or a great size, just a shirt that just like kind of jumps off the rack, like a really attractive modern pattern. I'll pick those up in Billy Reed, but this is probably not something I'll pick up a ton of. I'm at sat for a little while. Get that out the door. This guy also got a Wrangler, and this is actually coming out of my closet, so I got to fold it. Been in the pool daily. There you go. Not yet. Next month. Gotcha. Facebook just limited how many times I can click the heart button for the live. Well, thank you for hitting the the like. Yeah, thank you, Trisha, and thanks for being a a good rep, uh, a model for everybody else. Thanks for hitting the like button. If you haven't followed, go ahead and hit the follow or subscribe button. I'd appreciate that. We don't go as live as often as we used to, but we'll go live and give you good, honest glimpses into what's happening in the business. So this is a shirt. You've probably seen me wear this a whole bunch. Wrangler right here. Nice, pretty colors on this. Right out of my closet going right to, uh, who did I say? Eric. Pick this up. Nick, how's the, uh, how's the biz going? You haven't have you had time lately to continue to uh, to devote to the reselling thing i miss mornings with chris at pizza oh, thanks just been busy over here you know, some of the advice I always gave folks when I was coaching people is like, look, you you can't add more things to the plate unless you take something off. And you can either take something off the plate intentionally or something's just going to fall off the plate that you really didn't want to fall off the plate. So um, I like all the stuff with the business. I like being live. I think you all know that. I've done it for years. But I had to, I had to make a decision. It was either going to be a conscious decision or something was going to fall off the plate. And I said, you know what? I'm just not going to be able to go live as much right now. And that's the way it is. Oh, man. Good as we get some more Tyvek envelopes out of the garage. And that's good because I got to go to the garage anyway because uh, we just got this Poshmark order. Two more polo shirts. We'll go ahead and get that shipped out. So let me go grab those. Open up Poshmark sales. Don't worry. We got more sales. We got some shoes going out the door. We got some coffee going out the door. And a bundle of two polo shirts, including this vintage polo sport. That's pretty cool. S10 and S3. All right, I'll be right back. You hang tight. I got to get some coffee for the road. I like hunting for the treasure, but the selling gives me anxiety. Well, Tessa, hang out. If you have questions and stuff, if I can help relieve some of that anxiety, let me know. I'll be right back. S3 and S10.
Tie back envelopes. And two polo shirts. Check this out. Polo with that Hawaiian like flower pattern. And then this polo sport little vintage piece. It's got a zipper on the front. So it's a polo shirt with zipper instead of buttons. Kind of cool. We'll ship out that bundle in a sec. Let's ship out this one. Tessa. What type of stuff are, are you, when you're going to the thrift store, out hunting for treasure, what kind of stuff are you looking for? Like, what's your favorite stuff to find? All right, Billy Reed and Wrangler. Going out to Eric. Eric paid, I think, $34 for this bundle. Both are shirts that I've had listed for a while. So happy to take a lower offer, $17 a piece for these two shirts. I think they were listed at like $21 or $22 a piece. So two shirts out the door. Thank you, Mr. Eric. Let's do this fresh Poshmark order that came in. Do a little thank you note. Business is good, Nick. This has actually been really good. Been really focusing on cranking it up. It's been really slow picking here in Asheville. So uh, I've been changing my sourcing strategy a bit. So I went down to Florida, not this past week, but the week before and did a whole bunch of sourcing. Uh, went down, visited my parents, saw some friends and stuff, but did a bunch of thrifting. So that was good. And trying to get out and learn the, the Charlotte market. So Charlotte's about a two hour drive one way from me. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt drive. I don't like doing it, but trying to get out there and and uh, get my sourcing game out there. It's just a bigger market. It's a top 20 metro region in the country in terms of population. There's more money out there. So trying to learn that market out there because it's been slow picking out here lately. I haven't caught you in a while. So yeah, in the last few weeks, so the last time I went live on here, I think was like the March the 20, no, March the 30th, um, Saturday was the last time I went live on here. So since then, I have been to Florida and back. I've been to Charlotte a couple times. Um, I focused, I got all these shoes listed on eBay and Poshmark. So I no longer doing those shoe shows that I was doing on whatnot. Spent $8,000 on shoes uh, over the course of like three weeks to launch that, like the shoe whatnot game. And got a few weeks into it, realized it was going to take me a lot more time to stream than I wanted to. So I said, cool, we're going to put all these on eBay and Poshmark and sell all that stuff off. So I've been working on that and just been listing, listing, listing. So got the store up to more listings than I've ever had in the store, like 11, I think 1,120 right now, which is more than I've ever had listed on eBay and Posh. So I've been busy, busy, busy with that stuff. What do you mean sourcing like various stores yeah so i go to the thrift stores garage sales estate sales and retail stores in their clearance sections and look for things that are underpriced and then take them home and sell them at market value that's what i do nice i've also started a new channel some of you might be familiar with peak eats on TikTok. i've had that channel for about a year and a half i opened uh peak asheville on instagram Facebook and YouTube. And I also changed that TikTok channel. I changed the name to Peak Asheville. So if you want to go check that out on any of the platforms, I uh, watched that a couple weeks ago. And my first video on YouTube, my first short has like 33,000 views. The very, like, open the account, same day posted that first video and it's at 33,000 views. So I'm like, I'm on to something here. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm going to focus on, I'm putting some focus into Peak Asheville. Uh, it's not doing so well on the other platforms. It does well on TikTok, but Instagram and Facebook hasn't really got off the ground yet. Just haven't got like enough views, followers to get it to take off. But I already got 500 subscribers on YouTube and I only have four videos uh, on there. So that's another thing I've been focusing on too. And, um, I've been having fun with that. It's a nice, like fun side project. You know, I like going out to eat. You know, I like going out hiking. So if I can create content about that stuff, that's really fun for me. So I've been working on that too. All right. Let's get these two, get a thank you card made out for this bundle offer that just came in or bundle order, I should say. This is going out to Emma.
these are probably the the funnest you can say that word right the funnest two pieces that polo sport piece with the, the vertical stripe down here and the zipper instead of the, the buttons that's pretty cool and then this one that hawaiian this just came in this sold for a best offer of why is it not showing me that 53 bucks for these two so basically 26.50 a piece on these two. thank you emma Wings look yum. Yeah, we're having fun with that project. So somehow on the, the YouTube account, what seems to be happening is YouTube's done a nice job of putting that video in front of local people. So I'm getting a lot of comments on those videos of people who are telling Kim and I like where we should go next or what their opinion on it, the best wings in the area. So yeah, I mean, it's just getting a lot of engagement on there, uh, which has been really cool. It's created a fun conversation about wings and we've actually learned about a few places that we didn't even know existed so we're going to go to a place um maybe as soon as sunday called hustle wings which is in horseshoe which is closer to hendersonville than it is to Asheville. but and a lot of people have been suggesting this place hustle wings is the best wings in the area so we're going to check that out yesterday we went to rocky's red hot chicken shack which we've eaten at before but we never had the wings there so we had the wings and, and i filmed the video yesterday haven't finished editing yet but i filmed the video yesterday so yeah we're learning about this just people are suggesting places that we've never even heard of which has been a lot of fun thank you emma nice purchase on those two shirts that puts us up to 10 sales on the day for a total of 11 units going out the door All right, next up. A pair of shoes going out the door. Brand new in box, New Balance, Fresh Foam Arishis. Where are those? Here they are. That's seven and a half. These ones are eight and a half. In theory, I still have these. Here they are. Nope. Those are eights. Hmm. Let me double check that order. I thought it was eight and a half. <clears throat> Fresh foam Arishi size eight. Nice pair of shoes right there. Brand new in box. Going out to Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. These are going to go out priority. We're going to do a little uh, box trick here for you. You're going to love it. So I'm going to use one of these 1095 boxes. That shoe box won't fit in a, the traditional like USPS priority shoe box. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in a 1095. You're like, well, how's it? Ooh, didn't mean to do that. Like, how's it gonna fit in that thing right there? We're gonna do that right now. So we're just gonna line this box up with the edge of the table. And we're going to fold the box. And we're going to do the same thing on the other edge. You can draw a line and do all that stuff if you want to, but this is just a little faster. Now your box is like that. We'll use a knife, cut these little edges.
thing. We'll cut these edges. Like a glove. Thank you, Sandra, and brand new shoes. See ya, Trisha. Bezos is moored. In oh, thank you for that update, Tina. You know that I was, uh, Really curious where my friend Bezos is. What's up, Sid? How are you, bud? Good eye on those that Arcteryx yesterday, Sid. I, I seen you. I seen you. I'm hoping to do more with Trisha Loves Tacos, personally. There you go. I'll watch that stuff. All right, we got another pair of shoes going out the door. This is actually an eBay sale. Put out to Aaron. I think it's these here. Brand new. These are the waffle debuts. Men's size 12. Just confirm the size. Yes. And yes. These sold for full asking price $59. Um, and these are going to go. Let's see. These are going to go priority. These will fit in a regular old USB shoe box, so no adjustments required. How's busy, y'all? What kind of stuff you got going out the door this weekend? Love to hear some fun sales. Love hearing about your biz. going out the door to Aaron. I'll be shipping out whatnot orders in a bit. Nice, Sid. How'd your whatnot show go? Out the door. All right. And we got an order for Gregory. Gregory got some coffee. Gregory got a dark roast and he got the French press grind. So we have all coffee is available in regular grind, which is like if you have a drip coffee maker or French press grind, if you use a French press, we also sell it in whole bean. If you grind your own at home, like Kim and I do, so we get the black mountain dark roast going out the door. Named after the town it's roasted in is named after the tallest mountain range east of the Rockies, home to Mount Mitchell, which is the highest single mountain east of the Rockies. Some steep hiking out that way. Love it. This coffee is big and bold, just like the mountains it's named after. Super complex is dark roast. Not like some of those dark roasts you've had, which are just all bitter, over roasted. This is not that at all. It's creamy, it's chocolatey, it's got a little hint of berry to it, even. Makes a great espresso. Makes a great regular hot cup of coffee. It also makes it really excellent if you do an iced coffee or if you do a cold brew. This is a great coffee for that. Thank you, Gregory, heading right out the door to you. Appreciate that little taste of the mountains heading out. Glad it went well, Sid. That's awesome. That is awesome. So those are all the orders I got for the day. Get cleaned up over here. over here for now. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off for the day. Wishing everybody an awesome weekend. I'll catch up with you sometime soon. Thanks for hanging today. I'll see you next time. Have a good weekend of sales, and uh, I hope you find some cool stuff if you're out and about. If you're sourcing, you're uh, treasure hunting. I hope the the cool finds just pop out of the corner. I don't know. I hope you find them. Peace. <laughs>